Alright guys, welcome to another part of my ED script tutorial series and today we're going to talk about arrays. So in Godot, arrays are mostly dynamic and as of Godot 4, you can actually make them typed, meaning only one contain one data type. So to create an array, you first save var, let's call it array and use the square brackets as usual. So in GD script, you don't set a size for the array by default. So if you leave it as this, it will be a size of zero and or we could add some stuff to it. So let's put a string, chef, that's my pet name. Let's see, 12, so that's an integer, and maybe 40.5, that's a float. In order to type an array, to set it as a type, you come back here, put that and array and pass in the type here. So int, for example, and now we'll get an error, gonna need us to remove the chef so by default uh, floats get converted to integers if you uh, don't change it whatever is on the end gets removed so let's print this out there you go all right so let's back up a bit I'm gonna use the dynamic array for now okay so in order to increase an array or add items to an array you could use the append keyword so array dot append and you put the value that you want let's maybe put a hundred here and we could print that out to so print and we could run that there you go added 100 to it and you could also use pushback so array uh, pushback so pushback adds uh let's use a different number here pushback adds the value at the end of the array and you also have push forward or push front so 405 will be at the beginning of the array and 30 will be at the end and 100 will be at the Second to last position. There you go. With arrays in um, Godot, you have actual helpful functions such as map, and you have a uh, filter, and a few others. You could look through the documentation, but for the most part, they're just helper functions. So, for example, let's use map. So, map takes a function. So, let's create one real quick. So, func, let's add, or add five. Uh, we have to pass a variable there and then we return val plus five and right here in the map we pass this function at five with no brackets and now we could print array and let's remove this chef here since since it's a dynamic array we'll get an error here so this should now print 14 17 and 45.5 and keep in mind this returns a new array so let's go back here save our new array and we print out the new array. The new array. There you go. 1417, 45.5. Alright, guys, in order to resize an array, you could let's get rid of this here and go back to the regular array. So to resize an array, you use the resize function on the array. Let's set this to 10. And that will now print out a bunch of null points. So let's print array. As well as the Three data points already there. All right, and to access the array, our parts of the array could say array at index four. Set that to be five hundred. Or why not? Then we could print out again. Print array. Now the fourth index is now well, you know the fifth area since the index is start at zero. So just set that one to be five hundred. So in GD script, you also have two dimensional arrays. So the way we do that, as you could guess, is an array, array is inside of an array. So let's come here and put this here. Let's add an extra one just to make it easier to work with. 34, and let's make this an array again. And that's now a two dimension, a four by four dimensional array. So we could access those by saying array, that's zero, and go here and say you want two, for example. This should be, well not two, one. This should print out 12. So let's go print. There you go. And if you want to loop your array, say for i in array and for g in i. Let's print i. R uh, j. Print j. There you go. And that's a 2D array. All right, guys. Uh, I think that's it for this tutorial. And. I'll see you in another one. Take care and like and subscribe. Bye guys.